Marcus here with Sound Elixir Recordings back with another Ableton Live 10 tutorial video. Today's topic is going to be on Ableton Live's EQ3. Now let's get started right away. First thing, let's have a listen to our sample here. Cool little sample I found from Splice.com. Now to first get started, uh, let's just talk about what this uh, audio unit is. It is a EQ, meaning that it changes the frequencies. You either boost or redu reduce the frequencies in either the high section, the mid section, or the low section. These frequencies in which each of these knobs adjust can be determined by and change through these, these numbers, the frequency low and the high frequencies. These adjust the crossover points, meaning that from 20 to 1029 is all on this frequency knob, and then from 2262, whatever number that is, from to 20k is all on this knob, and everything in between that, those numbers, the 129 and 262, is on this middle knob. So as you can see, it turns down the volume, boosts the low volume, boosts the mids, highs. Reset to zero here. And now we get to talk about what in my mind is probably the coolest feature of Ableton Live's EQ3, which is the fact that it is designed with analog filter cascade modeling, meaning that it's basically designed to sound like analog gear, which means that even with everything set at zero with no EQ boost going on, as you guys can see here, it'll saturate the audio signal going through it slightly. So let's have a listen, first without the audio unit en enabled, then with. Now with it on. And that is today's tutorial on Ableton Lives, EQ3. Hey guys, that's the end of today's tutorial video. Uh, thanks for watching all the way through. If you guys like the com content, please comment, like, subscribe down below. I'm gonna be dropping my links down in the bio if you guys wanna get in touch to me. With any questions you have or any future content ideas, don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, thanks for watching again and stay tuned for more content. Marcus out from Sound Elixir.